Six Minecraft X, and here's a tutorial on how to get a custom mouse on the Mac. Um, I think this is. Sorry, I have a little bit of a cold. Uh, my voice might be a little bit higher. Uh, so that um, I think this is the only tutorial on YouTube that actually shows you how to change your mouse on Mac. I haven't found any tutorial on on how to do it. So this is what you're gonna. So this is how you're gonna do it. First, you're going to download this thing called Wow Mac. You might be um, thinking, I don't want. Uh, this is only going to give me a cursor that looks like World of Warcraft, and that's the only thing I can have. Well, at, at first, I, that's what I thought, but no, you can do stuff in it to get your own custom mouse. It's not actually part of the program to do it. You're going to have to do a bit of editing to the program. So, you're just going to copy and paste this to your browser. And, uh, yeah. So, I'm gonna. Okay, so we have the wow mouse thing image. -y. So, you wanna open it up. Uh, you wanna unzip it. Mine automatically unzips it by itself. So, then you wanna right click it and then click show package contents. And you want to go to contents, resources. This is actually really easy to do. Resources, hands, and what you want to gonna want to do is you can replace any one of these. And I'm not sure why they look like this right now. Okay, they should look like these paper things. And what you're gonna want to do to any one of them is right click it. And rename instead of having it hand, rename it PNG, and then click use PNG. It'll turn into a folder. And then it'll, you can look inside of it. What you want to do is open up the info.plist with whatever you I prefer text edit, and then right here where it says default default, you're gonna want to change it to whatever you want the th your mouse cursor to be called so I'm just gonna name mine cursor and uh, I'm pretty sure that's all you have to do for this for the coding that's for that if I remember I put this away and then you're gonna want to get your PNG file uh, so oops damn <clears throat> I'm gonna go into my open up another finder window. I'm gonna go to pictures. That's just for me. You can you know probably gonna go through a different step. Probably just download one. And I'm gonna have to resize this. And Actually, watch this part right now because it's very important. Not resizing is not important, but I guess resizing might be important for some of you if you want to know how to resize good. But if you're just wondering how to resize to make stuff smaller, um, this is pretty big, and I want to make this smaller image size, and then I would do uh, by cubic sharper, best for reduction, and then I don't know. 40 that's about the size of a mouse uh actually let's make it a little bit bigger because it kind of looks a little bit choppy resize image size uh constraint yes um Uh, how about 45 and yeah okay that kind of still looks kind of bad but whatever kind of looks a little it looks a little bit not good but whatever this is just a tutorial on how to 
do it. So after you have your picture, actual pixels, uh, you're not gonna want to exit out yet. You're going to want to you you have make sure um you have a picture that's transparent or in the background or it's gonna be all white and on when you have your mouse thingy. Now you're gonna you can use um other things too like um GIMP. So you don't have to use Photoshop. My friend just had Photoshop and he gave it to me. So you're gonna want to open up this, and you're going to want to drag. It doesn't really matter how you drag it, but just drag it in there. And you're gonna want to position your mouse kind of where this is positioned where you this would click right here the left top like spike thing right here is where it would click because if you just copy it and pasted it and then you didn't position it right your mouse would be really screwed up and it'd be hard to exit out actually uh, okay so that's about how it should be positioned so now you're going to want to do is you can delete that just click yes and yeah and you can save save it right, cancel and make sure I just save this PNG okay okay save sure don't save okay so what I'm gonna want to do now is move these to to trash and rename this just down I'm gonna want to duplicate it and I'm gonna want to name this one up the PNG and then what I'm not going to want to do now is just rename this hand again and I'm pretty much done. Open. And see, I have this white mouse. And, uh, yep, that's basically how you change your mouse. You can make it small, you can make it, I don't know, you can make it bigger if you want. But this, yeah, and they have mm, cursor. So that's basically how you do it. Thanks for watching, guys. But you, the only bad part about this is you have to leave this open while you're using it. And when you click to this, it'll turn back to the regular mouse if you go to the side. And if you play uh, Minecraft and you pr click FN F11, it'll you won't even have a mouse. But I guess if you're just clicking around in your browser, yeah, it's cool. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you this helped any of you guys who are wondering. This is probably the only tutorial on YouTube and. Bye.